Well, hey friends, I wanted to pop in here real quick. I'm getting ready to upload this video. It's a long one for me. It's about 45 minutes long or so. But the reason I wanted to jump in here at the beginning was to encourage you to watch the video all the way through from start to finish, or at least watch the last 15 minutes or so of this video. There's a great message that I, it's kind of buried in there that I hope that you all get to see. It's a message that we all can use in our life uh, at any stage of our life. So that was the main reason I wanted to pop in here, folks. This is a compilation video of about, I would say, three or four days worth of work up on the hill here. Uh, I hope you all enjoy it. It's, it was entertaining for me, uh, and it was a lot of work. Uh, I would appreciate you staying tuned with me. All right, folks, thank you. See you in a little bit. Hello friends, it's Wayne Polson coming to you right here from Hartwood, right next door to SM Heartland. You know the ritual. And today is a beautiful day. It's a little humid. Humid might be the best way to pronounce that. There's a lot of moisture in the air. And, uh, but I got to get some work done in this area. Folks, I had a catastrophe last week. I, this is the area where, um, about a year or so ago, I had two leaning trees that had been blown over in the wind. A year ago in May, I think it was, or April, I took one of the trees down. And of course the root ball tipped uh, the remaining section of it up. You guys saw that in another video in the past. Off to the north, we have some fallen maple trees. 
storm damaged maple trees that came down a couple of years ago before we owned the property. It should make good firewood right now. I'm in the middle of those fallen trees right now. Look at the root ball on that thing. a lot to take down on that tree of course um, but we have a second one that one right over right over there that you can see that one's got to come down too so we'll start whittling back on that one it'll probably I'm, I'm thinking it has a better chance of standing up than this. and then in October November time frame uh, I was looking at doing the second tree but there was a lot more work involved in that. It was a little bit more dangerous, a little sketchy. But there's a sister tree over here, and this tree is a little bit more of a mess. There's a lot more going on. There are a whole lot of other trees involved, and it's a little bit precarious, if you will. Well, friends, so uh, what we got going on now, I've got all of these high branches removed. There is another leader coming off of this that is lodged up in this broken off, uh, it looks like a sassafras maybe, a uh, tree. It could be a cherry. Anyway, it's lodged right up there where that fracture is. And so I'm thinking, I can't cut it low to the base because I can't get close enough or high enough and remain safe. Um, so I think if I get that removed though, what's going to happen is this segment here will then just, it, it'll probably stay there, but it will be uh, able to be maybe pulled with a rope and drop down into this little space right in here, or uh, I can get it. Well, I think that's probably the, I think that's probably going to be it. There's nothing uh, keeping this segment here from sliding down now, except for that leader right there. But it's all a little tricky because I was thinking maybe of, of crippling this one here, putting a, it's a leaner, it's leaning and it's, 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 it's gone at the top. I don't know if you can see the top, the top up here, it, it's gone. It's broken out. Okay, that, that right there is coming all the way down to here. So if I put a notch on the lean side of that uh, to cripple it, uh, then there's a possibility that I can, I can uh, uh, make a back cut here. The problem with that is if this piece starts to slide down at that point, I'm going to be right in the, the path of the fall. 
So I need to think about this one a little bit more, folks. Uh, I've got some more work to do. There's another branch coming out right here. And that branch is also significant, uh, but um, I'll have to see if I can get to that with a pole pruner. Uh, let's find out if I can. head back home and I'll probably come back out tomorrow depending on the weather and we'll finish this job up but I want to get this stem on the ground so that I can cut it up and get some firewood out of it so there you go um, so I thought well I'll just uh, I'll wait until spring of this year when everything is 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 hunky-dory if you know what I'm saying you know where you know my knee is healed and and you know nobody's getting kicked in the head and stuff like that so Anyway, but let me show you what happened. Um, so I've got some footage, but what happened was right there, that's the tree from last May, still standing here. And here's the tree that I started working on in October. I didn't know that there was a third tree. Come down too. So we'll start whittling back on that one. It'll probably, I'm, I'm thinking it has a better chance of standing up than this one did because. It has two trees on that ball. Yeah, yeah. Tree. You can see that one right next to it there. Um, I didn't know that was there. It was actually uh, hidden in the understory. So um, I've got some footage. So what I did is, uh, there were, it was three days of activity here. Uh, to get to this point on the first day what i wanted to do was try to unravel these three trees uh, that were intertwined here and the first thing i did is i pulled over uh one tree that was had already been crippled by my stepson zach he was going to cut it down but then he realized how dangerous dangerous it was at the time and he stopped but he crippled it enough to where i could just pull it over with uh with pretty good with pretty good ease uh then on the second day i thought okay i'm going to come back and try to tackle the the opposite tree that this leaner is leaning into well on that day i was able to pull the um i was able to pull the leaning tree away from the uh, tree that it was leaning against and found out that it really didn't drop that far there wasn't a whole lot of force of gravity pulling on it so it was fairly safe So then I took out the opposite tree that it was leaned up against and it's still laying over there. You can see it right there, that, that one there. I took that one out and all I was left with then was this leaner with the root ball. Well, most of that I got on video, but when I started cutting this thing back to where, it, where you see it now, um, I forgot to turn my camera on and uh, I have I have helmet mounted camera footage, but it turned out to be sort of a bad angle. I can put some of that in here, but uh, I was really disappointed with that day because that was a fun day. That was a day when you actually start cutting stuff, you know, and everybody loves to cut stuff. <laughs> So 
and then of course, uh, I do have GoPro footage of, of that stick standing up when it, at the same time it raised this other one right here with it kind of freaked me out because I was in between both of them. <laughs> so that was a little bit sketchy. So there you are folks. Um, so today what I want to do is I'm getting ready to, and, and by the way, I cut all of that stuff up in about, uh, I don't know, uh, one, two, three, four times 18. What is that? 36, 36, 72. Is that six feet? And I will bring those up with the, uh, with the coyote tractor. I didn't want to have to walk down there because that's, that is a grade down there. I didn't want to have to be carrying those rounds up by hand. So I left bigger sections down there that I'm going to bring up with the coyote. I'm a rolling stone Bound to roam Come the morning Or I'll be gone Get home.
my god. Oh, that was classic. That was classic. <laughs> I think this is the signal that uh, I should be shutting down for the day. <laughs> uh, that was pretty cool. Right back where it started. You miss your brothers and sisters, don't you? I don't blame you. I miss my brothers and sisters too, but man, that was quite a, quite a roll. I thought you were going to wipe out my tripod over here. <laughs> what did you think of that one, folks? That was awesome, wasn't it? Uh, I did not plan that. That was uh, totally by accident. So it's getting late. I'm going to head back home and get hydrated and get cleaned up and I'm going to call it a day. I'll come back out here tomorrow morning, I think. Tomorrow morning should be a good morning. I don't, I'll check the weather. It looks, looks really nice tonight. So, All right, well, this is just another segment, folks. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Um, this is exciting, as you can see. I'll be back later. See ya. Well, hello, friends. It's the next day already, and I'm back at it. That was quite a fiasco, that last event of yesterday, wasn't it? So when you start wasting time and effort, it's time to quit, I'd say. So today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get this bucked up over here. This is a piece of sassafras. This is that tree I pulled over, the one that uh, Zach crippled for me. I'm gonna go ahead and just buck that up real quick and then I'm gonna go back down into the ravine after those other logs that are down there. We'll pull those up here some way, shape or form. We'll get it to happen. So let's get started, shall we?
Well, friends, that's it for the day. That's it for this uh, particular part of the project. The rest of it is just bucking it up and splitting like it's kind of boring. This was probably boring too, I don't know. But it's not something I do every day. So those of you who followed along through the whole video thing, I, I don't even know how long this video is gonna be. I shot so much footage. I could never fit it all into like a, a three hour video. So we're gonna try to condense it down to maybe a half hour. Maybe, might go 45 minutes, I don't know. Maybe less, maybe we'll speed some stuff up. <sighs> so much you can do in the editing bay, you know, so we'll do something there. But folks, thanks for, thanks for watching this channel. Subscribers, new subscribers out there, you keep coming. I don't know uh, what's causing it, but man, there's just been a, a squirt, an injection of, uh, of new subscribers here lately, and, and I'm tickled by that. But you know what, even if there was just one of you that was sharing this, sharing these moments with me uh, and Susie, that would be worth it all. It's not about the subscribers really at all. Honestly, it is not, it is not. So I'm not gonna bend over backwards to try to please everybody. That's not gonna happen. I can't do it, I'm just one man. And so that won't happen. And it's sure easy to tick people off though. That's what I found out, so <laughs> yep. But anyway, look, you aren't those folks. You guys are kind, you're full of goodness and mercy and all of that stuff, so aw. Look who I just saw coming over here in the corner of my eye. You gotta see this. It's the little princess being ridden by the princess. Hey, princess. Yeah, I'm talking to you on the horse or on the pony. Does her bridle look better? Come closer, let me see. Okay, hold it right there. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Is that the one that I modified? Yeah. Does it fit better? Yeah, except for... It was on backwards, I had to twist everything. Oh. But I got it. It's yeah, well, leave it to me to twist everything up and get it on backwards. But anyway, all right, but well, good. But it's fixable. But at least it's short enough now where... Well, it's longer. Remember, you made it longer. So, because it was too tight on her... Um, oh, that's right, yeah, yeah. Too tight yeah. on her brow. But... Yeah. I'm glad Susie keeps track of what I do, what I don't. <laughs> all right, looks like she wants to go. I don't blame her. There's a lot of stuff here to spook her. Yeah, she did. I mean, she's got fly spray on, so she's doing all right that way. She is doing okay? All right. She looks good. There aren't a whole lot of flies. I mean, they're trying to get close to her, but they're not, so. Yeah, I wiped her pretty good. I sprayed her. And... Just say hi to the folks. Hi. So I got to ride all three of them today. So that all three Hope, meaning? Scout and then princess. Hope, scout, and princess. Yeah, this is the princess. The little princess. And she is a princess. She's a princess. She's a pretty princess. <laughs> All right, we're heading out. All righty, see ya, honey. Yeah, she's heading out. She wants to go. <laughs> so there you go. Well, I'm glad Susie popped up here. I wanted. I really like it when she's in the videos. I, I, you know, most of you know who she is from me talking about her all the time, and you see her here and there, and you saw her when she got kicked in the head. Um, but um, I'm glad she was able to pop up here real quick and say hi to y'all. All right, that's all I have. I'm gonna call it quits. I'm tired. Um, it's hot and humid and muggy here in Ohio. The wind is picking up. We're supposed to get some storms, I think, but I don't care. Life is fun. We'll, we do what we can with what time we have, with what weather we have, whether we have weather or not. Yep. Love you folks. Y'all stay kind. See ya.